Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of the Developer's Perspective Let's Play. In the last video we had a run in Ward's Nightmare and some of the suggestions that I made were already implemented for the next version, mostly some balance suggestions for the stage. So that's it for that stage. Let's continue. Let's try to do this challenge as classic Mario and make use of these guns for once. This gun is from the XCOM stage. Looks like we are in some space station based on the Metroid game with some space pirates. I coded those pirates by the way. When I work on the ships stage. There we go. I'd like to keep using the classic Mario or Luigi, but I also want to showcase some of the other characters. I think that Sonic got a new suite, a sci-fi suite. I am not completely sure, but let's find out. Diamondus. That's um, the stage is made by the Turbo Killer. It's a Jazz Jackrabbit stage. It's funny because we are using Sonic and Jazz Jackrabbit was kind of a Sonic ripoff on the PC. have this sonic inertia. I don't know why there's medals of enemies in here. I don't I do not think that they fit this stage. I, I think that I I say that to, to, to turbo once. I don't think that any of the original enemies from Just Jack Rabbit have been coded into the game. I don't know if there is any plans for them, but that's why this stage is full of enemies from other games. There is a lot of Mario enemies and looks like a strange mixture of enemies from many different games that were already existing in MKF. Look, we also have Metroid enemies, we have Mega Man suits. It feels like a very random Selection of enemies for this stage. I don't know if the current developers 
have any plans on updating this stage. But I I would take a look personally. There is Metroid, there is Contra enemies, there is Metal Slug, there is Halo enemies, Mario, Yoshi Island. The design of the stage is fine, I guess. It's just the enemy selection that feels very, very random. probably take a few already existing enemies in NKF and uh, skin them to use some of the original Jazz Jackrabbit enemies. I think there were some bees and tortoises and just filled the stage with a lot of different tortoises from different games and bees. Uh, something like that, some robot enemies, perhaps, uh, a little bit of sci-fi enemies, but I would keep the selection of enemies to less than six, five or six different kinds of enemies in that stage, because the, its current selection of enemies is too large. And it just feels very disorganized. Okay, looks like we cannot spin dash these guys. We probably should be able to spin dash them since they don't have spikes or anything. Just bounce back. Yeah, I was talking with Dookie about that and Sonic kind of needs a rework on how he interacts with enemies. Because see, see I, I can spin dash into this enemy and bounce back and it's safe to do it but the code on the interaction with Sonic is on the enemy not on Sonic himself and that's not the right way to, to make a game Because every single enemy that you make, you need to add that code. And sure, you can use scripts and just copy and paste the code. But with so many people working and coding, their own enemies 
if somebody forgets to do it. That's how you get the uh, glitch. Anyway, this is a stage. This one was made by Gladia Cloud long ago. And it's based on the um, Journey to Silius game, which was a game for the NES in the 90s. It was a nice game with decent music. And it fits or nine nicely. Sonic is a uh, good choice for this stage. There is a lot of coins. There is no bits. And I see that his sci-fi suit is still just a uh, Hilo shield. Which also has the magnet that attracts the coins to you. I think that there were some plans to make a. Um, what was his name? Uh, Pulseman. Sweet. Pulseman was a character from. A game on the Sega console, which kind of looks like Sonic, but it's sci fi, so it fits his theme. I think that we even had this price for the suite already long ago, I'm not sure. I, I think that I saw them once, but we never got into implementing it. Okay, so we have these guys. That was dangerous. We got to a checkpoint. Nice. Let's take this mushroom. See, you can see which coins are red because. The shield does not attract those. There is a lot of rupees in this stage. We got to the end of this stage. I think that we have to wait for the enemies to spawn and then throw them to the We do not have any weapons, so we have to do this the hard way. I 
and it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take like nine or ten hits. gets a secondary attack Some shields can block these bullets. If we had one, it would be a lot easier. And that's it for this level. Now there is the energy zone and I'm going to switch to Sam. I don't really like Link. I think that he's getting a rework later. That's why I haven't used him yet. So let's do Simon instead. Simon's sci-fi suite is also just a, a Halo style shield. that I, I said in a previous video that this stage was made by Obrek. I'm taking a lot of hits. Okay, I, I need to be a lot more careful, but I think that I will go to the shop. Where is it? Here it is. I have a lot of rupees. Oh, that's a new shopkeeper from Star Fox. I'm going to take a bit. This a pack. I'm gonna buy everything. Yeah, Simon does not have any shop exclusive weapons. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the energy soon. Ah, let's not play like like a noob this time.
We have full HP. There is a mini boss here. Look too fast with these walls. Simon is one of my favorite characters in the game. He's just so strong and has a lot of moves. He can double jump, slide. Stomp. He can deal a lot of damage. of the stage which has the boss it should be the Robocorps I think that it was the final boss in one of the Contra games nice we have the shield
I missed the, the power up. Okay, we, we still have the reserve shield. What? What? Why did that hit me? That attack is difficult to dodge. I think that's the only thing that was hitting me actually. Okay, let's try again. Oh, there is no checkpoint before the boss. Or did I forget to take it? Okay, we have to go all over this again. Try to get that flame whip. Oh, these guys cannot get through. I I need to stomp them. some chicken but these guys do not drop any okay here we go oh so here was the checkpoint I just forgot to take it <laughs> okay that's good because now we have the the flame whip, which is a lot stronger. If you get close to Bomba, he just keeps jumping.
Here we go. Yeah, Simon is so good. I'm gonna keep using him for one more stage, maybe. This is Moon Fortress. I, I think that this is a Mega Man stage. I'm gonna um, play that one later. Interstellar Assault. This is the, the Gradius stage where you use a ship and the library. Let's do the library assignment. This is also one of the oldest stages in the in MKF. This was made by Jotspear long ago. I don't know if, if it has been modified in any way. Let's find out. Back when World 9 was a lot about Halo. We must collect the index before we can activate the installation. And this used to be the, the World Boss stage. But now it, it it's uh, seeps the World Boss the World Boss stage. I do not have any more hurts for my weapons were this thing. We got five. That's not enough. It looks like this has the same design as always. This is a very slow phased stage. I messed up the controls. We got a few hurts. What I want to get is the item 2 and item 3. Let's see if we can get some power ups from the monitor. Please 
Control your temper. I knew that was going to happen. Good thing that we have beat. Okay, this is the endurance room where we have to kill a lot of the fluid. Looks like there is some kind of glitch with these enemies. A visual glitch. Not sure what's causing it. The first time I see it. We move while those are spawning. They get all weird. Yay, more auto scrolling. Everybody's favorite feature in video games. I am not complaining, this is also what, how it was in the original Halo, kind of, you had to go slow and kill the enemies and there, there was a lot of loot appearing everywhere, so it's faithful to its source. I just don't enjoy this overly slow loss. Please control your temper. We got the item too. So I can shoot two crosses at the same time. Like that. Now we need the item three. Yeah, it's, this gun is useless here. It's too high for the to hit the flood. I could probably change it to make the bullets spawn just a few pixels lower so they can hit the flood. Otherwise it's completely useless. We are near the index chamber. Follow me. And now we get to the auto scrolling area, the speedrun. We 
which is also the only part in the whole game where this super wing power up from Mario is used. I think that this this power up has been oh nice we got hit has been underused in MKF. Um, it it would be nice if the game had a couple more stages with with it. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Except no auto scrolling, just the just the flight. It could be um, some stage where you have the you're like a, in the sky and you have to climb the mountains or the clouds or something like that and you have the permanent flight to navigate and explore maybe the development team can make use of this power up later in in the final world And I should probably have come back and purchased an uh, anti-nobac item because if I, I, if I get hit once, it's probably going to kill me. Have the power up. stage is very old so it uses the old weapons on the game the shotgun and some grenades it would probably not be a bad idea to update this room to let you use more weapons that were added later Right going on. A lightning gun, something like that. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Or some of those weapons from XCOM. Maybe. You may now retrieve the events. Okay, that's it for the stage. It took a while. Okay, so let's continue and 
I want to use Protoman again for the next stage, which is the Gradius stage. We need some extra firepower for this one. This is also going to take a while because this is also auto scrolling. Oh, yeah, we have the Breakman Suite, which creates this. Platforms if I hold up while, while I shoot. And for this stage, since I have to move up a lot of times with the ship, it's probably gonna, going to waste, to waste all of my ammo on these things. Yeah, like that. This is a stage that I made. I should probably have taken a look into the coding of this ship so that Protoman and Roll and I think that that's the only characters that have this up and shoot. Weapons or accessories. I think that Roll has the item too in one of her suits. So yeah, I should probably code this ship in a way that while you are on it, you cannot use those weapons in order not to waste all of your ammo. Took two hits. The design of this level follows what the first game of Gra Gradius was like. It's the exact same stages. This was stage 2 in Gradius, and the next one had the Moai heads. It's pretty much the same. Except it has been adapted to a platforming game, kind of. This was one of the last levels that I made. During my time as a level designer on the team. It was this one and infested the station and then the, the last one that I made was Castle Dracula ok we get to the checkpoint I'm really gonna try not to die because if we die we have to go all over the stage again since the last checkpoint I need and it takes a while There is a Moai hit. Uh. 
this level is pretty much the entire greatest game in one level. And it plays the same. It feels like if we were actually playing Gradius. That's why MKF is so good. You can play so many of your childhood games at the same time in one game. Well, if you were born in the, born in the 90s, I mean. Kids nowadays only know Fortnite, Clash Royale, Minecraft, that kind of game. That's why the audience for MKF is people around 30 years old, 20, 30 years old. Not so much the younger folks because they wouldn't even know what games are being referenced. Some might know, but not many probably. talking about uh, the current age of the audience because uh, this game started its development back in uh, 2008 and most of the people in the old forums were teenagers But now most of them should have, uh, should be in the late twenties. being generous and we got a lot of extra HP drops from the enemies almost died back there I should I should probably have taken Mega Man and not Proto Man since Mega Man has one more hit point It's too late to regret it.
Ah, damn it. <laughs> I rushed into it. This is gonna take a while. I should probably have added more checkpoints to this stage. Well, at least, since we don't have the Breakman suit anymore, now I can use my Robot Master weapons. So it should be easier now. Like that. And I am not taking that suit. I think that making this level took me like two weeks or so. I had to code most of the enemies in it, including the boss. But I also reused some of the older ones, like the R type enemies from the Vito station. Some other people have also mentioned that this stage is a little frustrating to play because yeah, if you die you have to repeat most of it. So if you guys, uh, I mean Duki and Taxman and the others want to add some checkpoints, go ahead. You can go ahead and add a checkpoint in every single room of the level, but don't forget to add a platform so Mario can stand on it at the beginning with the ship next to him. And also uh, a SMB2 mushroom. So the Mario characters can get some key points. That's my suggestion for this one. More checkpoints. This is also the reason why I'm doing this let's play. It's good to find some glitches and give some feedback. Because many times when you are a developer, 
you do not really spend a lot of time actually playing the game. This is the third area in a row without a checkpoint. But I think that this one is fine without one. Maybe only the previous one. Well, it's up to you guys. But in this room, you you start uh, with enemies right away. So if you are going to add a checkpoint to this room, you need to make it a little longer on the left side where you spawn so that you have enough room to get aboard the ship before the enemies appear so yeah you have to extend the room to the left and add the platform for the checkpoint We are doing so good, so good this time. Still at full HP. Some ammo. And that's it for the stage. Next is the boss. And I think that the lagging web should be very good against this boss because The, the lightning web stay, stays right there. When he opens his mouth. To deal some decent damage. Has a lot of button meshing. <laughs> this is uh, an actually very difficult boss, a little frustrating also, but it's fine. No need to change anything on it. And Moon Fortress. I'm going to use Tails for one because. This is a Mega Man stage in World 9, which means that it's gonna have some Mega Man suits. I hope. Yeah. And Tail Suite 
is the Gyreman Suite, which comes with one of my favorite weapons in the Mega Man games. It's, it's very useful. This stage is like a fusion stage of um, the Starman level from Mega Man 5 and DuckTales. Which is a Disney show based game. But I, like I said in the other video, it's fine to make stages based on the shows, as long as we do not use any of the actual characters. From the show. But these moon enemies are original to the game. They do not, do not appear anywhere else, so it's fine to use them as a game reference only. I try not to use Tails a lot because he's one of the easiest characters in the game, which is flight ability. And he can take a lot of hits. And if you have the anti knockback item, it's very difficult to die as tails. He's always a lot better than Sonic, at least in NKF. Yeah, by the way, th this stage was made by Aura Dancer. I think that this is the, the last one that he made. Before he also had uh, to stop working on the project. That gun is from a Final Fantasy game, I think, I'm not sure. See, if, if I was not using this, I would have died right there. The design of this level is very good. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Sons of the Bubble Shield. Power up. With this, with this switch, you can... Uh, do this move, you can uh, move down and bounce. Usually this is a move that Sonic always has, but not Tails. We go to the end of the stage. Next will be the fight again against the Starman. Yeah. It's funny because Gyro Man was also a robot master from Mega Man 5. And I think that the Gyroman weapon was the one that Starman was weak against. Oh. Yeah, this is the special attack that Starman has. Oh, we cannot spin dash those rocks. Many of the robot masters in MKF got some secondary extra attacks that they had not in the original games to make them a little more challenging. He has low HP, I think. Oh, I see. He, he doesn't drop his shield anymore. So the only way to hurt him is by throwing one of the big rocks to take his shield down. And then we can hit him. Okay. He 
He also shoots even more stars. <laughs> if we had Protoman, he would be dead already with his power shots. Okay, one more hit. This fight could be a lot more difficult as Mario. thought that he would die with that last hit, but he didn't. There we go. That was close. But we got him. Okay, I think that we cleared most of the stages, the mandatory ones at least. I remember that the plans for this world is that you had to clear all of the stages around and only then it would unlock the world boss stage. I don't know if that was implemented already because I already beat all of the other stages before I even tried to get into the world boss. Let's do... Let's do Mega Man this time. First I'm going to the ship. Mega Man does not have a sci-fi suite, so we are getting some of the upgrades. All of them actually. I think that the next stage is a new one. Series spaceship. This is also a Metroid stage, which should be based on the Metroid Fusion, Fusion game. Let's see why they, what they did with this one. I like when the levels have this darkness. Um, wh why is there zombies in here? Do zombies have to do with Metroid? Hold on, I think that the music is just a little loud.
the red key first. We need to find it. Should be on this side. In the Metro Fusion I think that the story was that the Cers spaceship was a flying laboratory that carried the different environments that existed in the Metro Metroid's home planet SR388 I think if I remember correctly which was also the planet from the game Metroid 2 And it had some unique enemies into it. This level, however, uses the same enemies from Sips, the other Metroid stage. So these enemies are not accurate if we stick to the game's lore but then again coding even more enemies would take a lot of resources from the game and I don't think that that's something that the team wants to do anymore so it should be fine I guess or perhaps uh, they could keep the same enemies but with different sprites, just skins maybe and I see that I took the, the wrong path I went back to the same area Try going to the right side this time. If we go up, it only takes us back. Oh, this is locked. Only. But this is not a door that needs a key. I think that is more of a switch. Okay, so we actually have to go back. Let's go to this side instead. Hmm. Maybe those doors are not meant to be open ever.
maybe that switch opened the doors, the other ones. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. It only added some platforms so we can go back. So we have the yellow key now. Although I haven't seen any yellow doors. Why would there be a hippie space? <laughs> That's a strange enemy choice for this stage. Space hippies. Okay, so we went up the last time. Have to go back. There was no door right there. I don't know if that was supposed to be the yellow one. But I didn't see anything. This stage got it right about what I said on the different environments of the planet. So far we have seen uh, the plants and uh, the fire and now the water areas. And I didn't know that item one was that was given to Mega Man. I just realized. Oh, so there was a yellow door, but it opens with a shot. That's why I didn't see any. I had already opened it before I even got to see it. Be getting close to the end of the stage. So, if Mega Man got the item one and you have to hold up and shoot. He would also need the, the Gradius ship to be modified. So that the item one does not get used while you are on the ship. Let's see what's done here. That this is the main path. Yeah. Let's go back and see what was above. I need both bombs. Damn it. 
I'm not sure that's possible because you cannot climb. But at least you can fly. I'm, I'm killing myself. I just took three hits doing that. Ah, oh, well, it was worth it. We got a reserve tank. Good to know. Okay, so we cannot die as long as we can keep hitting this reserve tank, but I need to kill these guys. And I cannot throw the bomb from this distance. There we go. And we got some HP, nice. Free reserve tank. Okay, so it looks like this is the stage where we will be introduced to the Metroids. Yeah. The Metroids are one of the most dangerous enemies that I coded for this game. <laughs> they have unpredictable movements. They change direct directions to the lake. Sometimes. Mega Man has some ice weapons of his own. So that he doesn't need this ice. Let's see if we can I can show you what I meant. Yeah, yeah, like that. You, you see? It changed his movement direction. That's why they are very dangerous in the game. And if they hit you, they will take at least two hit points from you. And if you have a sci fi suite, the shield will not protect you from the Metroid. It's gonna take the suite. And that's the end of the stage. This one we get we get a uh, uh, boss later to make a proper ending. But I'm not gonna spoil anything. And we only have zips left. This is gonna be a very long stage. And because I like to suffer and challenges. I'm going to use classic Luigi, no sci fi suits. So let's go. We have the super strength item so I can pick up some I can pick up the bricks. Oh. The hitbox of that guy is too large. And similar to the Dracula Castle, this is also a Metroidvania style level, which means that it's gonna be very long.
Yeah, not doing so good yet. This was what also one of the levels that I worked on. But it was initially developed by Finlander. So that's some of the story. And we also have this size the size one. I saw that there was a new uh, skin for this gun in the in the previous stage. So it should probably be put in this one also. The other one looked looked more like sci-fi instead of a Mario one. This is the right path. Never mind. We have to go up first and get the red key. some power-ups. So I can at least take some hits before I die. Okay, there is one. got the first checkpoint and the red key so we are doing some progress and also some power up so we are good to go nice as soon as I get it I, I waste it <laughs> yeah I'm just going to kill myself so I can go with the power-ups. I need to be as careful as I was when I was small. And hold on, I want to get another one. So we need to re-enter the room. Actually, I think that this path is safer. So let's take this one instead. it was down here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it should be. So we are on the right path. Let's go to this area first. Need to be very careful with the lava. And it looks like we only have one grenade to break one of the walls, we choose the one of the left because this is where there is a reserve tank. Down there I think there is a sci-fi suite or something like that, maybe a Mega Man suite. I don't remember what I put in there. But we are classic Luigi, so... It doesn't matter what sweet there is in there. We got the reserve tank, which was the important one. Luigi can jump very high, like that. You can get into those high platforms. So there is some advantages to being him. Let's save this path. I think this is where. It... Oh, nice. Not a very fair enemy placement. Not exactly a fair enemy placement, right there. Take this path first. Oh, never mind. We only go back. I think no, no, we're on the right path. This is a higher one. the yellow key, so it was the right path. And now we have to go back, I think. Yeah, this is a secret room with a power-up. I think it was a Mega Man one in there. There is some advantages to being the person who 
work on this stage, I know the secrets. That was a very close call. I, I do not have a nice weapon to fight that Metroid, so the only thing you can do is run. side with the platforms. path uh, takes us back. Hey, that was unfair. <laughs> I wonder if I can go back and take the power-ups. I think that I can. Yeah. But there is the Metroid. So we are going to do this a couple times. Before the Metroid can get us off. Not a good idea to go back here. <sighs> okay, so we lost the reserve tank. And it's only gonna get worse because uh, there is <laughs> a gain that. that Those hidden blocks are the, the most dangerous thing in, in the Mario games, I swear. How many people have been killed by them? to another checkpoint. There is a secret exit in this stage also, but since this is the world boss stage, 
I think that it's, it's gonna have to be used for something else. Maybe um, a big secret. Like un unlocking some character or something like that. Because getting to the secret exit of the stage is very costly. Takes a while. There was a hidden room on the top left of this room, but I cannot get there without an ice weapon. for classic Luigi. Maybe not. <laughs> I cannot kill this guy. But I can just dodge it. I need to wait for it to go to the left. And now we go fast. Yeah, I'm gonna take a hit. Damn it. <laughs> Made me lose my power up. But we are fine. <laughs> hey, that was... That bounce back was not fair. <laughs> I think that I need at least a fire flower. Nice, we got the checkpoint with no power ups. That's what I get for it. For talking shit. See that one. Without any power up, this is gonna be a little difficult. We can do it just fine. a gun. Okay. Okay, we got a reserve tank. I didn't see that gun the last time. I could probably remove that enemy that I just threw. It's not very useful in there. Okay, we can we can farm some power ups in here. Oh never mind, just fell down from the higher platform. Never mind. Still I think that I will still remove it. <laughs> if if it's just gonna get stuck. Again. There is also a cherry back there. Fuck. I fell down that tiny gap. I wonder if I should try and farm some cherries for a Starman power up. 
I think that I will, but I need to get the power up first. Since we are playing as Classic Luigi, we need to make use of what the game gives us. character had that can slide or play as Maluigi but I'm not doing that. on the ceiling nice there's also a visual glitch in here like in the other room I, I don't know what's causing it okay how do I kill this Of the best way to kill this, but I think that I need to kill the one on the higher platform first. Maybe from this side. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Okay. Oh, nice. We can use this guy. Rate of one. Let's take this cherry. But I, I think that these visual, visual glitches are uh, because I'm recording and not something to do with the game. I'm not sure. But it's the first time that I see them. platforms. Okay, I think that we need to do this again because I cannot kill this guy. I needed to use the bomb on the one on the left. We need to go back. And I lost my reserve tank. Okay. Guy. I need to kill the, the red one. Wow. 
Ah, I got hit. Yeah, this is gonna be very difficult. And we are all the way back here. <laughs> I screwed up the last time because uh, I let them hit me in that area that has a lot of enemies. I need to keep the power-ups. I cannot lose them. Should be fine. Let's get the reserve tank first. This time I can pick up the cherries. only once. Need to kill this guy first. I need to kind of slide like that. Okay. I'm gonna do that uh, two more times. Just hope that the Starman does not get spawned on the left side of the screen. No, just on the right path. Okay. So now let's kill off these guys. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I panicked for a second. I thought that uh, it, this was gonna be the, the room with the um, with a lot of these guys, the crawlers. And now we have the fire flower. Yeah, I don't know why, why that glitch is happening. Okay, so we got we got uh, power ups this time. for a second.
Okay, sorry, had to make a few phone calls and they kind of ruined the video when I got here. So I had to restart and start recording from the point that I left. But okay. We are back. Anyway, let's continue and the, the difficult part about being Big Luigi is that it's more difficult to dodge than for you guys, which should be fine. Oh, nice. We cheated that, that guy because his projectiles didn't appear on the screen, but we could keep him before he shoot anything at us. Okay, so we are doing some progress. Into the stage. Nice, more metrics. Cherries for the Starman. Oh, wait, I think that I forgot to, to get the checkpoint. If I remember correctly, it's on the left side of this door. Yeah. Yeah, this checkpoint is very important. <laughs> Because if we die, we have to go all over it again. And also now we will have enough cherries to get a Starman power up. There it is. Which is gonna make this part a lot easier because we have to kill a lot of Metroid. That's all of them. Nice. We almost get to the end of the level. to kill every single enemy. Okay, we got to the end of the stage. Which takes us to the Sita Metroid, which is the most difficult boss that I've got it so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And uh, this boss was actually nerfed from this is the first version that it had. And I see that the Metroids were also nerfed in this boss because it only takes one stomp to kill them, not three. So that's gonna be that, that's gonna make this stage a lot easier. This boss fight, I mean. You had to stomp them three times before. We had uh, a lot of complaints about this boss being too difficult. I think that changing the metro is to take only one hit was a good way of nerfing it. Classic Luigi in the first try. <laughs> and that's World 9 over. Well, that is the main stages. There are still some secret ones. That was a good run as Classic Luigi. It's fun doing these challenges. And this uh, pipe takes us to the minus world. Which I'm not sure I'm going to go in that world yet. Let's finish world 9 first. To use Mario. I haven't used Mario yet. I think that this is the third time that we do this battle. 
and China Pyramid. And China Pyramid, I, I, I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> and China Pyramid, I think it is. Anyway, let's, let's get into it. And this is Mario Soldier Suite. It's Marco from Metal Zug. Oh nice, he got the knife attack. I thought that he was not gonna get it. I don't remember if he always had it or if it was removed later. One thing that makes Mario very strong is this, this spin jump. You can jump on almost any enemy. Get some power ups. These guys. I'm not sure if they deactivate. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, good thing that good thing that we have that reserve tank. Why why does it punch me if I'm stomping it? I think that that's a glitch. Let's try it again. And test it. Okay, I'm just going to stop it. Never mind, it was just the angle, I think. Anyway, this this level is based on the... I don't remember what's the name of the game exactly. It was like a, a, kind, a kind of robot. That looks like an ant, I think. I think that the name was Bob. Or Books. No, yeah, yeah, it was Bob. B O B. On the SNES, I think. I think that there is a secret exit in this stage. I forgot where it is though. So. I think that it's up here. A suit. I'm gonna keep the hammer suit and the leaf.
nice, I think it's sweet. This is my favorite Mario suit. Sweet, actually. Let's just kill it. Okay. Nice, another lucky sweet, but I want to keep uh, the camera sweet also in case we need to kill something. of the Nuki Sweets in here. Okay, so we got to the end of the stage. And there's the boss. on that is too wide. It didn't look like it should have hit me. Actually never mind. The robot's fists get wider when they hit. to my Tanuki suite in the reserve. Why is it a mushroom? See what happened to my Tanuki suite. <laughs> and that's all of War 9. There is another secret exit on this stage which leads to just an airship. We will not do that yet. And in Covenant Salt. We will do this one actually. So we clear all of the stages in this world. And I'm going to use... Um, I'm gonna use Link for once. I don't like him but... Okay, so this is Link. The reason that I don't really enjoy playing as Link is because his gameplay is kind of a hybrid of the Mario style and his power-ups, um, the Switch, feel more like, like they should be weapons and not sweets. But that's because Link was one of the first characters to be developed in MKF back when the the game was supposed to be still very Mario-like. 
That's why Link and Roll are very similar to Mario in their controls. And the way that and the way that some of the power of work. I think I'm not sure that Link will be will be reworked in the future. I know that Obrek wanted to to remake him at some point before he disappeared. I think that Link was only going to get two sweets, a red and a blue one, and all of his other weapons like the boomerang and the bow and arrow, they were going to be weapons that he could carry, while his actual sweets were going to be like upgrades to his movement and general skill set. That was the plan years ago. Like I said, I don't know if it will be reworked. Still. But I see that at least he can stomp now. So that's an uh, improvement. Anyway, the, this suite that I am using right now is the Cloud Suite from Final Fantasy. Which takes uh, Link's shield away in exchange of a very big sword. Where the secret exit is of the stage. I think that is in the last room. Enjoy playing as Link more if he was more like um, in the Mario Maker game. I kind of like the, his Zelda 2 appearance on the NES. Where you have to kind of stop the enemies. And doing so pushes you back a little. More faithful to, to his original version. And here's the secret exit, but I need the key. I think that the key is dropped by the hunters if I kill them. And this is the sci fi suite. Which got a new attack, the plasma bomb from Halo. <laughs> and 
and that's it. Let's get to the secret exit. And I think that the secret stage is also a Halo level. Yeah, go down. The big is it's like a Mario and Halo fusion level. And we will switch back to good old Protomant to end this video. And I see that this stage was also modified a little. I don't remember that background being there. All of it, a uh, really short stage. And I think that this is where we are going to end this video. It's been really long also. But I'm doing this because I have time to do it. But this is the, the last day of work that I have. And the last time probably that I, I can make such a long video. The next ones will be shorter. We can also go to World 8 from here. But I think that it should be blocked. Yeah, you can just take a look, but you cannot enter the stitches. And this is, I think that this is the world that we are going to next. I need to see where the secret exit is though. I think it was some um, sky level with crackle from Kirby. Yeah, here it is. Actually, let's do that exit so that the next video we start at World Eight. Um. Actually, I think that when I had to restart this Let's Play because of the new version, when I cleared the Spiral Tower with cheats, it also cleared the Secret Exit. But I haven't uh, found it yet. So let's do like if I haven't found it yet. And do it the right way. I have no idea where this predicts this though. suspicious yet.
continue and see if there is anything else suspicious before we try to get to the... because only small Mario and Luigi can go in that area and Wario and Waluigi Fine, we got that checkpoint. Yeah, here's the switch to the secret exit. Now we only have to go on the regular path. It and it looks like the exit is on the same room, but elsewhere. Here is the switch. on the right side and it's a Kirby exit Kirby stage you know Kir Kirby is a platforming game that matches very well with the Mario gameplay I don't know why, why we didn't just make a lot of Kirby Levels for World 8. There is only a few. There is a ton of resources. Sprites. Sound effects, backgrounds, everything is available already. So it's not difficult to make Kirby, Kirby stages. I don't know how far the progress on World 8 is But if more stages need to be done to fill it 
I could just make more Kirby Kirby stages. Maybe I'm talking talking too soon and there is already a ton of new Kirby levels in the game. I think that he's supposed to drop some small enemies from the throw. Yeah. We have the black hole to make things easier. Here it is, World 8. there and super flat world is going to be the first stage but on the next video thanks for watching please leave any comments that you have thank you